take this. Again, it's any symbol that you come up with, you can bring this together. So I have the ruler guides on. I'm just going to get a vertical ruler guide and just rotate this a little bit until I can get a vertical section almost lined up. Not too bad right there. So just uh, lock this and dim this down. <clears throat> Work on a new layer above it. And all you have to do is make one one shape and rotate it and you pretty much have the shape that you're trying to create. And whether it's made with uh, elliptical shapes, there's the option for the center of it. And just give it a obvious color so you can see it. And zoom into that section. And you can do the same on this side, whether you make it a stroke so you can see it. Use the arrow keys, something like that, to build that up. And then taking the uh, pen tool and just maybe coming down here. And just trying to make one shape that's connected. So I can select all of these, use the shape builder, and just click on all those. So now it has that selection. This part, since it's on the center point of this ruler guide, See if I got it in there. Maybe I didn't. Um, let's see. A. Just move that point over. So just to make sure that I have enough of this, I'm going to override that section. Okay, so right now I'm just kind of making sure I have enough of this, uh, this shape right here <laughs> placed in there. And then just take a rectangle tool. And like I said, you can probably pull this off any which way, but that's just going to separate it. And this time I'm just going to use the Pathfinder, I think. Let's see if that's going to let me do it. Just option with the Shape Builder tool. So now I have this uh, particular piece, almost like a motif in a pattern. Let's see if I got a little bit of artifacting there. Option, copy that over. Make sure I have it selected. So here's the Reflect tool with the Option key. Copy that over. Select all this and just under unify this into one piece. And then I kind of have the center down below. So just take the same window shade reflect for rotation, option, and click. There's six of these going around. So just 360 divided by six. Preview and copy, and just command them across. So now you have the entire shape. They're separate pieces. So just select them and hit the union or shape builder from there. So now you have this particular piece that you can uh, create from, and it'll give you. Uh, Plenty to work from. So they had it at an angle. So if you shift to that, it's going to be in proportion to that particular selection. And you have the other path. So if you wanted to offset or create something along with this, this is going to give you that, that selection. So it's kind of letting the initial design and then hopefully dragging that piece together. Anything that you then create from there is going to help you with that particular uh, design. There. 